Hello, Lucky Nobody here, and today we are back at Lagfest or Crash Bandicoot. Um, I would have started in game, but I'd like to show you a few things. First off, when you save and load the game, the actual icon for the save it depends on what was the last map you were in. So this is Turtle Roots, the first map. If you save after that, you get this icon, which I think is a fun little thing. And the second thing I want to show you is this cutscene. So enjoy. So you were helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash. <laughs> no, this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. So, there are a couple of things wrong here now. More than there were before with Cortex. And also we are going back here for things I'll explain later. But anyway, apparently the guy you just saw, uh, Brio, wants to gather uh, the diamonds. And he is apparently also the one who put all these enemies here. Because spiky turtles aren't natural phenomenon, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I'm carefully dodging all the boxes this time, because we already got the grey diamond. But the thing wrong with Bryo's thing plan is that he has all these forces and isn't using them to gather the diamonds. Also, in the later levels, uh, the forces are quite clearly from Cortex. I'm pretty sure at least. So, that leads to the conclusion that it's Rio and Cortex who have forces all over the place trying to stop Crash Bandicoot and each other. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. First of all, why would they involve Crash Bandicoot? Well, why did Cortex do it that way? And why aren't they using their own forces for this. Anyway, here's a blue diamond. Aren't you amazed? I didn't even die once. And basically you get this diamond by not breaking any crates in the map. There's a way you can tell you get the diamond that way, but I skipped it. Because I can't be asked to edit a video to show you and then go through the level again at the third time. Basically at the end of the level there's a... If you haven't caught, uh, broken all the boxes, there's this uh, transparent crate which shows a number of bro boxes broken and how many you need to break. In the first case, you get all the crates in the map when you are trying to get the grey diamond. But once you have that, and you go through the level again, trying to find the blue diamond, it, the transparent crate thing is still there, but you have a number of boxes broken slash zero. 
hinting that you need to break zero crates if you want that blue diamond gem thing. Anyway, next map. Snow Go. Which also has a red diamond. Which I can't even remember how I can get it. Anyway, first snow map. Meaning that this game isn't based on the same three islands the first game was on. Also that was a TNT. If you spin at it, it will explode. If you jump on it, it, it will get a three second ti da timer and then explode. And we have ice. Wouldn't be much of a snow level without ice. Nope. You need to be pretty careful, you don't want to actually slide and spin into the TNT there. And you need to, once again, you need to break all the crates if you want the gem in the end. This includes TNTs and nitros. And that did not happen. You saw nothing. I know Aku Aku doesn't save you from, from gravity, which sucks. Stupid gravity. And I'm not bothering with the damn apples much. I'm just... Okay. Slowly. There we go. Spin, slide, jump, jump, run away! And get stuck. And moving forward. I'm not getting killed by seals this time. And as you can see, if you kill multiple enemies in a row... <coughs> if you kill mul multiple enemies in a row, you get apples. Meaning if you jump from one enemy to the other, or get multiple enemies in one spin or slide, you get more apples. That was a trap. You go past it and it falls, so usually you just go under it fast, quick. I'll use quick in, instead of fast. And here we have the red diamond. Unfortunately I can't get it yet. I'm pretty sure you have to find a secret level that is a completely separate level instead of what we had in Turtle Woods, which is which was part of the map. So you have to find the secret level somewhere, then go through it and then you'll end up with a red diamond. It's kinda complicated. Not much. But I can make it sound complicated because I mumble and make no sense usually. Anyway, these are the first maps, so they're relatively easy. For me at least. So I'm just going through them. Only dying a few times, but no one notices those. I'm telling you not to notice. And checkpoint and a secret nitro explosion box thingy. Yes. Stupid anyway. And the second crystal. Everyone's happy. Why are the penguins spinning anyway? Oh well. So, you have probably noticed by now that there are a few secrets in this map. This is alright. I've got to explain. These! Um, you see that grey thing up there with an exclamation mark? Kinda like the nitro metal box thingy. I need to name that sometime. But it's grey. What that box does is make these invisible boxes here visible. Also, it's kind of secret because you jump on these arrow boxes higher if you press and hold X. And you probably won't do that randomly. 
except I do this all ways. I like to jump high. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, we'll see if I. Yes, I got the gem. Diamond. Um, stupid names. Charge. And I haven't taken any time to see if I. How much time I have in the recording. Yes, do the crash dance again. You could skip it, but. I can't be asked. Um, just in case, I will end it, end it here. Um, see you later, I guess.